go natural. So this is going to be tips for growing long and healthy hair. So I know that something that all of us girls want is long, beautiful hair. Hopefully this video helps you guys really with these tips. I hope they help you out and here we go, we're going to get started. Moisturize your hair. Um, so a lot of times, especially in the winter months, our hair gets really dry. And when our hair is dry, it breaks off. So it's really important that you continuously moisturize your hair, give it that tender loving care that it always needs. Um, so that not only is it growing, but that it, you retain the length that you have and that your hair is healthy. Um, so you could do that many ways um, by using leave-in conditioners, oils, different things like that. Um, if you guys want more details on how to moisturize your hair, just let me know and I will put, post a video on that. Avoid heat. So I know sometimes this is really hard. Um, as you guys can see now, my hair is straight. Um, I normally don't straighten my hair more than once a month, if even that. Um, there has been times where I've gone four months or longer without putting any heat on my hair. Um, so it's really important if you want healthy hair, heat does damage your hair, especially um, your ends. So, you know, to avoid those split ends, you want to avoid putting excessive heat on your hair. Um, so I would, if you're trying to grow your hair out, I wouldn't straighten it more than once a month. If you can go longer than that, try and go longer than that. Um, you don't have to do it forever, but you know, just to get some of that length. Really growing your hair is not so much about, your hair is going to grow anyway from its scalp. But if you want to retain your length, you have to take care of the hair that you already have. Have a healthy scalp. So um, a great way to do that is you can either massage your scalp to really get the blood flowing. Um, you can also do hot oil treatments to put on your scalp to help it stay moisturized. There's also really light conditioners. Um, like scalp conditioners that you can use to grease your scalp. I wouldn't use heavy grease that has petroleum in it because that does clog your pores. Um, but if you can find like a light grease or light hair conditioner um, that you can massage in your scalp every once in a while just to keep it moisturized and healthy, um, that's going to really help promote that healthy hair growth. Also, I've heard of people using castor oil on their scalp. Um, I know I've used it around my edges to get them th to thicken, um, so I don't doubt that it would help if you were to put it in the rest of your scalp or do a hot oil treatment with either castor oil, coconut oil, olive oil, all of those oils that are really gonna help moisturize your scalp and keep it healthy. No touchy. So you want to keep your hands out of your head. I know a lot of people who overly brush their hair, overly comb their hair, always have their fingers in their hair. You want to just kind of leave your hair alone, let it be. Um, try to avoid oh, try to avoid combing and brushing excessively in your hair. Um, when I wear my hair curly, especially sometimes I go three or four days without actually combing it. I just put it up in a pineapple at night. Um, moisturize the ends if need be and then let it down so um, that's really helped with keeping my hair thick um, and keeping it from thinning out uh, when I wear it straight I just wrap it at night and then take it down and just kind of let it breathe uh, during the day so you really want to avoid over touching your hair over combing it um, because it does put a lot of stress on your hair and it can thin it out so if you want that thick hair you know you want to avoid touching it or you know overly playing in your hair a whole lot Clip your split ends. So, um, really I say this more so on a need to do basis. Um, you don't need to continuously clip your hair and clip your hair and clip your hair if you don't have split ends. However, if your ends are damaged, there's really no point in hanging on to them if you want that healthy looking hair. So you can go ahead and cut those off. Um, and that kind of leads into my next tip of, you know, you want to moisturize your ends keep them healthy so that you don't have to continuously cut them because they're damaged. So you could do that by, uh, when my hair is straight, I put oil on my ends. Um, also, when my hair is curly, I make sure that I'm moisturizing it with conditioner, constantly putting something on my ends to keep them moisturized and to retain my length. Um, so you definitely, you know, if you have split ends, you want to cut those off um, because they're not going to go away and they're just going to make the ends of your hair look really scraggly. So, you know, clip your ends. Um, I usually 
maybe clip my ends three times a year at this point. Um, you may need to do it more. There's really no set time. It's just when you see it, let it, you know, let it go. Cut it off. So um, I did just kind of say this, moisturize your ends. So it ties in with my last tip. You want to really take care of your ends, baby your ends. Um, you want to really take care of your ends, moisturize them, make sure that you're keeping up with them because even if I start to see like maybe it you might even start to split, I just moisturize, moisturize, moisturize to really keep my ends healthy. That's going to help retain your length um, because the ends of your hair is the oldest part of your hair and needs the most attention. So the more you take care of it, the easier it's going to be for you to grow your hair longer. Alright, so this one kind of goes without saying, you want to eat very healthy, you want to have a healthy diet, exercise regularly. Um, if our body is healthy on the inside, it helps it look healthy on the outside, obviously. So drink water, eat fruits and vegetables. Um, for your hair especially, protein, salmon, eggs, um, different things like that to really, you know, not only get it growing, but also give it that shine um, and to make it look really healthy. So try to eat a healthy diet, try to drink water, really take care of your body and you'll see the difference not only in your hair, but your skin as well. So along with eating healthy, you can also take vitamins. So vitamins are really good, you know, especially if you don't always get those nutrients throughout the day that you need. Um, there are vitamins for hair, nails, and skin. Um, with those, I wouldn't necessarily say they'll make your hair grow, but they will, you know, as far as making your hair look healthy, making your nails look healthy. Um, and if your hair is healthy, then, you know, that promotes growth as well. So, you know, that definitely helps. Um, you could try biotin or even just a multivitamin to add into your regimen every day. Tip number nine is protective styles. So, um, especially in the winter time, I would say try this um, because your hair tends to be the driest in the colder months. Um, but this, once again, is going to preserve your ends. So, a protective style is anything where your ends are tucked away and protected. So, it could be a bun, it could be a braid, it could be um, what's another protective style? Twists. Um, whatever you want to try um, to kind of keep your hair clumped together um, and it prevents it from when the wind is blowing through your hair, your hair is not just loose and vulnerable, but it's kind of clumped together um, and protected. It's really going to help, especially if you're trying to preserve your ends, avoid those split ends and help retain that length. So I would try any of those buns, braids, and if you guys want, you know, a video on different protective styles to try, um, I have plenty up my sleeve, so just let me know and I will post a video on that uh, but those protective styles are really going to come in handy when you're trying to grow out your hair and protect it and keep it really healthy have a good hair care routine um, is tip number 10 so you want to really take care of your hair on a continuous basis you don't ever want to just neglect it and leave it out to rot um, so ways that you could do that is, you know, having a hair care routine that works for you. Um, I also suggest using natural products in your hair versus, you know, over-the-counter products. Um, I use Shea Moisture in my hair that works great for me. It's an all-natural line, certified organic ingredients, and it really helps keep my hair very, very healthy, and it continuously moisturizes my hair without stripping it of its natural oils. So you could try co-washing your hair as well. Um, if you guys need to know more information about co-washing, just let me know. I'll post a video on that as well. Um, co-washing is basically when you're washing your hair with conditioner instead of shampoo, which helps to retain some of that moisture in your hair versus using a shampoo. Um, if you are using shampoo, once again, I suggest using a natural shampoo that doesn't have sulfates in it, um, that won't strip your hair of its natural oils. And um, like I said, a great line is Shea Moisture. They have, you know, some for thin hair, they have some for curly hair, they have some for straight hair, just for even just to moisturize your hair. So that's a really good line to try if you haven't already. Um, but you know, you really just want to look for shampoos that don't have a lot of sulfates and you don't want to overwash your hair. So, you know, I only wash my hair at most twice a week. Um, I wouldn't wash your hair more than that. You know, you know your hair, especially if your hair is really dry, you could probably even do once a week. 
um, or less than that. So just really pay attention to your hair. If it's really dry, you don't want to overwash it. If it's really oily, it's probably because you wash it a lot and your hair is already adapted to um, producing those oils because they know that they're going to be stripped away. So see if you can, you know, if you have really oily hair, at least try to wash your hair every other day or, you know, every three days and see how that works for you because it's really going to help when your natural oils come in. That's going to help keep your hair healthy and keep it growing. So. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of these tips. Hopefully you guys grow out that hair. Um, be patient, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, you know, I would definitely just get to the point where you're not even paying attention because before you know it, your hair will be long. Um, so just have fun with it. Love what you have, just embrace you know your journey and really enjoy the process. Um, it doesn't have to be frustrating. Just really embrace whatever stage your hair is in. Um, just love where it is, embrace where it is, um, and just rock it out. So I would love for you guys to comment down below. Let me know what your favorite tip was in this video um, and what you think that you'd like to try first. And then also I would love to see your hair growth. So if you guys want to post or tag me on Instagram, and I'm on Instagram at Ashanti Carr. I would love to see how it's working out for you. Or you could even email me at goingthenaturalway at gmail.com. I'd love to hear and see your progress. All right, see you soon. Bye.